Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up Soho Vault, add passwords and share them with your team. Soho Vault is a secure password manager that helps you store, manage, and share passwords with your team. In this video, we will guide you through the process of setting up Soho Vault and adding and sharing passwords. So the first step is to set up Soho Vault. First, you will need to visit the Soho Vault website and sign up for an account. Verify your email address and set up a strong password for your account. That strong password refers to that master password. Choose a plan that suits your needs and complete the payment process. After it, then you will need to log in into your Soho Vault account and start using it. Otherwise, if you already have a Soho account, then you can just go ahead and uh, find the vault.soho.com slash app, and then you will enter this homepage uh, for entering the Soho Vault uh, credentials. So after you have set your master password, please remember to write it down or store it somewhere else that it's safe for you because there's no way to recover that master password. Um, you will not see it anywhere else, but you can reset it uh, if you have forgotten your master password, clicking this link over here. So we'll open Soho Bolt. And this is the first homepage that you will see. So for adding passwords, you will need to click on Add Password, or you can also click on Quick Add button. Uh, I'm gonna click on over here so that you can see all of the options that you have to have passwords for a site, for a password. You can create a folder. You can have an SSO AA, uh, application. You can create a user. You can have user groups. You can have password policies, as well as you can have password categories. You can have an IP restriction, you can create alerts, and you can set up your domain. So in this case, I'm going to sh uh, show you how to add a password. So we'll re select password. And then a little menu will pop up on the right side to the middle of your screen. And then you will have different categories which uh, you can choose from. For example, bank account, file store, payment card, web account, Windows or any other that you feel suitable for your needs. Underneath, you will find the name field. Uh, this is where you will need to uh, create a name for your for your own reference and uh, where you can find on a faster way the password that you are creating. You can store the password on any other folder, but first you will need to create the folder and then you can assign that password to uh, uh, the specific folder that you want. Uh, to store the password in and then you will need to enter the username and the password these two uh, references or are making references to uh, for example the credit card so you will need to enter the card number you will need to enter the name of the card uh, the street code but if it's a link let's say that it's uh, a windows then the username will be for example uh, German is r20 at gmail.com or something like that. And then your password will be uh, your name, 123, test123, or whatever password it is for that uh, category that you have selected. And then you can also add that URL, you can create some notes, you can have some tags, and you can also have some additional fields like the TOTP, some custom fields, attachments, and uh, descriptions. So once you have saved, your password, you will be redirected to the home page and you will see that your password has been added. Now, to share a password, you will need to select uh, the password that you want to share to your users and then you will hit over here where it says more and then you will share your password. You can also revoke them, you can also transfer ownerships, you can add them to a folder, you can edit the categories and classifications, as well as you can set alerts for files can manage the tags, you can enable and disable auto logins, and also you can enable and disable access control, or you can uh, just delete the passwords. So I'm going to click on share passwords, and then over here, you will be able to see all of the users that you have created before, and uh, you can select them all um, by checking this box if you want to share the password with all of your users. If not, then you will only need to select uh, its user that you want to share the password with. For example, you will see here user one, 
then user two, user three, user four, and so on. So you can just select, uh, you can just check the boxes uh, for each individual user that you want to share the password with. You can also have user groups, and then, uh, for example, administration group, you can just select it and then share the password. Or you can also share the password with third parties. You can go over here, you can just enter the email, and then you can just revoke the access to link after a specific time. Uh, it could be 16 hours, 24 hours, or 30 minutes. You can also uh, create a message for them so that they know that they have been um, granted access to this password and to the URL or any specifics that you want to give uh, uh, to your third parties. And that's it. You have successfully set up Soho Vault. You have added passwords and you have shared them with your team. Remember that Soho Vault is a powerful password manager that can help you manage your passwords securely and efficiently. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask below. Thank you.